consider what makes it possible for the faithful and discreet slave to provide timely, nutritious, spiritual food. I shall make you have insight and instruct you in the way you should go, says Jehovah. He adds, I will give advice with my eye upon you. Yes, Jehovah provides direction to the slave. We can therefore have full confidence in the spiritual insight, understanding and guidance that we receive from the slave. Let us now examine what great works Watchtar Jesus has accomplished through his organization, the Watchtar Society, since 1918. During 1918, after coming into his reign, Watchtar Jesus chose Charles Taze Russell, a man teaching pyramidology, numerology, Egyptology, mythology, paganism, etc., as his faithful and discreet slave, dispensing food at the proper time to his servants. In 1926, he changed it to Christ and his body. In 2009, he changed it to the governing body and the anointed. Then, in 2013, he changed it once more to the governing body alone. I said alone. Although his second presence was in 1914, Watchtar Jesus thought it was okay at first to let the Bible students in the fog in believing he was present since 1874. In 1930, his presence was changed to 1875. In 1931, it was changed to 1878. In 1932, he led them back to 1874. Finally, in 1943, he told them the truth, that his return had been in 1914 all along. At first they believed that the time of the end was from 1799. It was only in 1929 that Watchtower Jesus decided to reveal to them that they were once again in error and that the time of the end was in reality from 1914. Russell had it right in teaching that the higher powers were the governments. Yet, in 1929, Watchtar Jesus led them to believe that the higher powers were himself, Christ, and his father, Jehovah. In 1963, this was changed once more to governments. When he sat on the throne, he realized that they had already shamefully failed in their prediction for 1914. And still before selecting them in 1918, they failed twice more with 1915 and World War I. So he quickly rebuked them and gave them 1925. After realizing his mistake, he gave them World War II. Damn it, it's not easy to reign over the world. This time he couldn't go wrong with 1975. But guess again. In 1929, Watchtower Jesus was so sure he would bring about Armageddon that he ordered them to build a huge mansion called Beth Sarim in San Diego where he would send Israel's Old Testament prophets after raising them from the dead. Why rule from troubled Israel when you can rule from California? The mansion was sold off shortly after Rutherford's death in 1942 because he couldn't make up his mind on a precise date for the end of the world. In 1918, Watchtar Jesus also noticed that the Bible students were using the corrupt King James Version from Babylon the Great for their understanding, but he let them use it until 1942. In 1942, he went even further by leading them to print their own Babylonian-influenced King James Bible, which teaches the Trinity, the eternal state of the soul, and hellfire. fire. In 1944, he also led them to print their own Babylonian American Standard Version. It was only in 1950, after letting men without an accurate translation for nearly 2,000 years, that he led the Watchtower leaders to publish the first and only accurate translation of the Bible, the New World Translation. Jehovah is truly almighty through his organization.
since there are no other perfect translations to compare its accuracy, in 1962, Watchtower Jesus led the Watchtower to quote from a spiritist by the name of Johannes Grieber to support the rendering of some of its verses. In 1983, they stopped quoting from him after being exposed by evil and jealous Christendom. From 1914 onwards, taking a blood transfusion was no problem at all. But in 1945, he decided to ban it totally. In 1954, blood serums were also condemned. In 1958, blood serums were now allowed. In 1961, a blood transfusion became a disfellowshipping offense. In 1963, blood serums were wrong once again. In 1964, blood serum were once again allowed. In 1978, hemophiliacs learned that they may accept treatment with blood components or fractions. In 1982, minor blood products are allowed. In 1995, a witness could now accept some transfusion methods of his own stored blood. In 2000, fractions of any of the primary components of blood was now allowed. In 2004, hemoglobin was also allowed. In 1931, Watchtower Jesus declared vaccinations a violation of God's everlasting covenant. Then in 1952, he decided it wasn't so bad after all. In 1967, he stated through his organization that organ transplants were cannibalism and should not be taken. But in 1980, after many Jehovah's Witnesses had died, he decided it wasn't cannibalism, after all. In 1927, Watchtower Jesus taught that the last generation of Matthew 24 was a literal generation of worldly people. In 1927, he led them to believe that it was a spiritual generation of anointed since Jesus' time. In 1942, it became a literal generation that included the remnant or anointed. In 1951, it became the literal generation that had seen the events of the year 1914. In 1988, it became a literal generation that was born in 1914. In 1995, it was now the wicked for an unlimited period of time. In 2008, he returned to the belief of 1927 that it was the anointed since Jesus' time. In 2010, it was now an overlap of anointed literal generations from 1914. With all the scandals involving pedophilia and abuse in the Watchtower Society, financially bringing Jehovah's organization to its knees, tithing may just be the answer for future survival. After crushing its followers in every way possible, the only freedom Jehovah's Witnesses still seem to enjoy is in the little finances some of them manage to maintain. By introducing tithing, the organization will be free from extermination and at the same time will have absolute control over its followers. Since the governing body was exalted throughout the years to the supreme role of being the lone, faithful, and discreet slave, above those who founded and built the organization to what it is now, and even above Watchtower Jesus, might as well give them the sovereign title of the higher powers. Surely the governing body is greater than secular governments. Absolute rule over rank-and-file Jehovah's Witnesses will cause the believers to now look up to its leaders with even more fear and reverence and bring about a greater obedience and service to the Watchtower organization, a greater state of modern day slavery. Thank you for watching, and remember the Watchtower's insider's motto Present light is tomorrow's darkness.